Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Ashwood Asylum, because it's the only map that exists. Suicidal. Good water, man. I'm thinking... I might want to see about making a mod for... for KF2. A simple one. But, uh, nevertheless, uh, a mod. I've, I've got a few ideas for, um, for, uh, Killing Floor 2 stuff. So, one of them is, is a mod for the game itself, which would, um, like, randomize the... Like, I have a random button, so you can pick a random map, and it'll actually go through a random map rather than being alphabetical, which is what it is. I believe it's alphabetical, and then maybe, like, random within the, 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 the that character. Perhaps. That's my, my working theory. There's definitely some, some alphabetization to it, too, though. Um, so that's, that's my first, you know, kind of thought with it. Uh, but I also have another thought, which is for the YouTube thumbnails for the series. And, uh... I'm thinking, right, I'm thinking that uh, it might be possible to write like a Python script that just like opens up the map and then like takes a screenshot at a random position at a random angle <laughs> and uh, just auto generates thumbnails that way. Just so that, like it's a different thumbnail every time. It'd be a lot of bad thumbnails that are just like, you know, but... <laughs> Like maybe like a lot of thumbnails just like this, you know, not very interesting, but uh, you know, this. <laughs> but I, I figure we get some some good ones and interesting stuff probably. Uh, maybe generate some Zeds in the map as well or something. I don't know. I'm thinking it might be possible. I don't know how the the like model of um, the map gets stored. Like I don't know how the data of it actually gets stored. Like how hard it would be write a python script that opens up the map and like views it i don't know i don't know how hard that would be i've never done any work with any kind of killing floor 2 map stuff or any kind of killing floor maps for that matter or you know like we can go i've never done any kind of work with any maps for any game that i haven't personally developed um well not not to a you know um noteworthy extent anyway i have done some work i've i've uh I ran a Maple Story private server a while back, and we had some some custom maps and stuff like that. Um, I ran. Um, let's see. I, I helped out with a lot of Maple Story private servers actually back in the day, when I was uh, a wee lass. Did lots of those private servery things. Um, I also did. Make like some game maker stuff and and modify some some game maker stuff when I was a kid as well. Uh, I've made uh, some modifications to like Unity games. Um, you know, I've I've done I've, it's, it's disingenuous that I've done nothing, but I, I haven't really done anything of uh, a particular note. You know, please don't. Um. But especially Killing Floor. I've, I've, I've definitely not touched anything with Killing Floor. Ever. With the map editor and stuff like that. So I don't know, I don't know how it gets stored. It might, might be a very difficult thing to do. It might also just be very easy. There might even be just like a Python module for it anyway. You know, oftentimes I'm like, hey, I should, I, I should see if I can do this really obscure thing. And then somebody else is like, oh yeah, no, like, I wanted to do that three years ago. So I just wrote a module for it. And I'm like, all right. I'll take it. <laughs> sure. Thank you, I guess. Um, it happens all the time, though. It's 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 way more common than you'd expect for something just like unbelievably obscure, and somebody's just like, "Oh yeah, no, I got a Python module for that. Here you go." Happens all the time. It's incredible. Um, but I was thinking about maybe like that. You know, maybe add in some restrictions on like angles, so you can't be straight up. 
have to be like that angle at the most or something and then like that angle at the least so you kind of have like the the right angles so to be able to actually see something and then uh you know add in some restrictions for there being nothing directly in front of you for like a certain distance you'll probably be able to end up getting like um screenshots so that you can identify the map from at least and it might be interesting it'd be easier for me if it were existing already it'd be a lot harder for me to make it but a lot easier to make the thumbnails after it already exists no there isn't no cloak sets none of them oh my god there's like i tried to make a joke but they just kept coming they just keep coming, dude. It's insane. What the heck is this about, man? Whatever will we do? Whatever will we do? Spray, guys. Remember in, uh... She shoots, she kills. Back, back, in, back in my day, when I played online, and I wasn't just the solo legend that I am now, um, I, uh, you know, back in Killing for 1, anyway, when I would play online, um, I had, like, all these hotkeys set up to call out scrakes and flesh pounds and stuff. Honestly, even in Killing for 2, even if you are in a group, it's it's not really necessary. Um, you know, if you, if you got a good party, then every avenue that something could come from, because, you know, before... Killing Floor was about kiting. It was it was a very kite heavy game. You wouldn't really camp in one area um, uh, like you do in KF2. And I know we I know I don't do that, but it is um, the best way to play the game if you're playing it at a high level with like a group. If you're playing it alone, you don't really have to worry about it too much. You can just do whatever you want. And I like running around. Um, keeps it interesting, I find. Um, that's why that's why maps like corridor, um, verticality, uh, you know, all those are, are just way faster because I'm not running around because there's only the one side. And most maps have something like that. Like Kiri Forest has a section like that. Ashwood Asylum has uh, you know some areas that are very similar to that. Um, right there. Ah ha ha. Um, you know, you got you got areas where you can kind of camp out, and for the most part, it's better to do that. Um, just because uh, the game doesn't really forgive kiting in in, uh, in KF2 anymore. It's it's very like anti kite because uh, like Zeds will spawn right around corners and they'll teleport around and stuff. Um, it's, it's, it's just you don't really get you get penalized for kiting in KF2 which when you're playing solo doesn't really matter because you can avoid it like most of the time you have space to kind of maneuver your way around most of the time anyway um, and you, know, you got your bash to distract them for a moment um, but in Killing Floor 1 they wouldn't teleport I mean I think they would if they were like completely stuck uh, but only if they were totally stuck and, and couldn't move at all. Uh, whereas in KF2, they will teleport even if they can move. Uh, and I know they said they patched it. They didn't, okay? Like, they just didn't. Um, in, in KF2, I believe they, uh... Like, their, their, their pathing is just slightly different or something like that. And if they can't path you, then... Uh, they'll teleport, but oftentimes they're just, like, too far away to, te to path to you. Um, or like, you know, some, something like that, where they can get to you, they're just like, not doing it, and then, uh, their AI is like, alright, well, we'll just teleport you closer then, and, uh, you walk around a corner and boop, there's the, the big flesh pound, the already enraged flesh pound, which is, uh, is brutal and unnecessary, but is what it is. Why am I moving my yon? Yeah, you were the wrongest. So wrong, dude. You want 
It's hard to reload cancel when you're not in first person because you're so used to the animation from like first person that when it's not first person, it's like hard to hard to cancel the the reload. But in like you know accurately anyway. Uh, anyways, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, video, like, subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to see. I'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.